Hello everybody, this is Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements, working on the timeline, looking at some of the effects in Premiere Elements 2021. Now the effects, we're in expert mode. You have a very limited number of effects if you happen to be in quick mode. If you're in expert mode, there are lots of them. Now if I select show all here, I can go down through the list and you can see there are many here, about 80 to 100 of them. But beyond the basic controls are something called presets. And if we go down here far enough, we'll get to the presets. As a matter of fact, why don't we just select that, our presets. Presets use the library of effects to create special effects. So these are pre-programmed. They're preset to certain values. So for instance, there is a bevel effect and you can apply bevel thick, which is a preset of the bevel effect to make your, your video look like it's a button, right? Like it has a bevel around it. If we want to ever remove that, by the way, you simply select the clip on your timeline, go over here to the applied effects panel and trash it. We'll go back here to effects again. Now, a number of these are not simply stationary presets. Some of these are even animated. I'll look at some of those in a moment here, but you notice we have fast blur in and fast blur out. You can actually use these as transitions. So if I put fast blur out and drag it down here to this first clip and then fast blur in and we drag it to the next clip, we've created a transition where, watch the movie here, you'll see it's going to reach the point, the cut point between the two clips and it's actually going to blur out and then blur back in. So watch this we go out here's our blur and then when we blur back in we're in a new clip so these are pretty cool there are three or four there's blur and there's pixelate and there's another one that's a transition uh, there's solarize twirl these are all animated effects that can be used as transitions all right let's pull those transitions off there by going to applied effects and trash that one and trash that one so we're not piling effects on top of effects you notice there are a number of picture-in-picture -picture effects, close to 300 preset effects. What a library. Let's drag this clip above that clip. So we've got one clip stacked on top of another on our timeline. And I'm going to drag a picture-in-picture -picture that is, some of these are stationary. I'm going to drag one in that I know is animated. This one is called Lower Left Spin Out Top 40% drag it onto the clip that's up on the upper video track. You notice it becomes a picture in picture now automatically. And when we play it, we should see some animation. It should actually spin. Let's see, we'll play it. It's stationary. And then as we get to the end, it spins and rolls out. Lots and lots of picture in pictures. And then there are finally image pans. And image pans used to be useful for creating sort of a pan and zoom over a photo. I don't find them very useful because you can see they're designated or they're applied to certain size of photo. And if your photo isn't the right size, uh, the image pan doesn't work. But just to show you what they look like, I'm, let's move our clips side by side. I'm just gonna drag an image pan down onto the existing clip and you'll see that the program then adds an animation to it. This will only work if your picture or your video is a certain size. But it is an interesting library here, well worth getting to know, although it's easy to create any of these also, but this is a huge library of nearly 300 pre-programmed, great many of them animated effects for your movies. If you wanna know more about these, uh, if you wanna know more about the program itself, check out the tips and tutorials at moviepix.com and everything about Premiere Elements is there in the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements available at amazon.com. I'm the guy who wrote the book. I'm Steve Rossetti and I hope to see you again real soon.